Hi you guys, it's Lisa. Thanks for stopping at my channel. You have no idea how hard this was to make this video this week. The creating part is easy for me. It's the technical part that I have such a hard time with. I am learning so much. So thank you for your patience. I appreciate each and every one of your comments whether they're positive or negative, I need to know that things are going right or wrong. So thank you. Back to the piece. We're doing some signage today for some card displays that I have out locally in the area. I make um, greeting cards also. I'm sure you know that. I started on some tags from Tim Holtz, put on some white gesso, and then I put down crackle paste. Here I added some stamps, which I'll list below, and this tag or sign is going to go to a secondhand consignment shop with um, vintage and fine clothing called Elite Repeat. So I'm putting on my wash of burnt umber, as I usually do, a technique that I use all the time and then I'm dabbing it off with my cloth trying to give a little background there of vintage style which Sue's shop has the vintage style that I love I shop there all the time and I work there whenever she lets me giving this a good dry so that we can put down color I'm going to put down first my tissue paper which I've stamped on with my rubber stamps and my jet black archival ink and it says cards created by Lisa and that's what I put on all of my signs for the shops that I uh, design for. I really like making cards. I need to get back into it here, but with Christmas right around the corner, that should be no problem. Again, thank you for your patience on my videoing. Right now, I'm going through a different video editor and it's been a real learning curve. I'm hoping that I have all the bugs worked out and everything will continue to move forward. Here I'm using my big brush pit markers, which I absolutely love. I don't use them enough, but now that I have them on my desk, you'll probably see them more and more. I'm going to create this little sign for Smith's Bike Shop, and it's just going on a piece of half inch MDF board, and I painted the edges so that it gave it a border. Putting my collage papers down, scrap papers, from a piano roll that I received from a friend and also some journal paper that I have in my stash. I use it a lot. I love the writing that's on the paper. It creates a real neat background. And I'm going to put down on the bottom a scrap of wallpaper that will um, resemble the ground that the little bike would travel on. These wallpaper scraps are excellent and I purchased a few wallpaper sample books a year or so ago back from a Menards which is a, a supply store of materials and I contacted them this year and I was surprised to hear that they don't have sample books any longer because everything is online now. So that's really interesting. I was kind of sad because I was looking forward to some more fun papers. Okay, I have the images colored in with my big brush markers and I'm using my Marabou crayon in blue using a little water from my wet towel there on the right and I'm just um, smushing that color to create a little bit more interest in the background. A little sky if you would.
Now I have a brown distress crayon from Tim Holtz and I'm adding it to the edges and pulling it out just to make it look a little more vintage, give that vintage feel. And that girl needed some ground to stand on instead of floating away into the sky. So I pulled that down so it looks like a little ground for her. And of course I couldn't get away without using my black marabou crayon. I did pick up a few different things at a large stamp and scrap show that I was at with my friend Kathy last weekend and you will see those products coming forward here in the future and I will let you know when I'm using something different. I found some really cool things so I thought I would bring them to you in the videos and hope you enjoyed as much as I did. I like the way that this sign is turning out. I think that Sue will like it for the cards also. Back to the one for Smith's Bike Shop. Everything is dry and now I'm going to put down my words, uh, cards created by Lisa. I had to go back to this tag here because I forgot to put the price on there. Sue sells these cards for $3 and this is a little display that I go in and manually take care of every week or every couple of weeks. I change things out and then I just collect the funds on this one. Here's a little bike sticker that I had in my stash. And I'm just laying everything down for placement right now, making sure everything will fit before I put the glue, the glue down. Here's the matte medium, and I'm putting a nice thick coat down. I'm learning that you need um, more matte medium than less to make the edges look transparent. So that's something that I'm learning and I hope I'm um, showing you my mistakes by going forward and making the mistakes for you, we'll say. So more matte medium is better than less in this circumstance. I'm putting a little brown distress crayon over that bike I felt like it was just too stark white, so I wanted to dull it down a little bit by pushing it a little bit in the background. I love finding these little things in my stash that work for projects. Makes you feel kind of fun that you used it up. Here you can see how I put the tissue paper down with not enough gel medium and so I wanted to cover that up. I didn't like that look at all. So I used some um, paper scraps and I put my tissue paper over the top with my words created, cards created by Lisa and I'm just cutting them to fit so that it covers up the portion that I didn't like of this sign. Now this sign is going to have a front and back to it. It's for a large card display at Western Technical College here in La Crosse, and it's in the campus shop. So I wanted to give it a um, book smart type of feel. And this one is going to have two of the tags and then hinged together at the top. It makes a real fun looking display for the card rack. I'm going to put those little pieces of cardboard down with my matte gel because they are a little bit thicker and I wanted them to adhere nicely to that tag. You can see at the top there I have some green painter's tape and I put that there just to mark my spot where I'm going to put down some black chalkboard paint. Here I'm putting down an image, I'm sorry, a sentiment that I used from my rubber stamps 
and I stamped it on tissue paper using more matte gel, excuse me, matte medium than less. I cut out a couple of book images from my stash and I'm adhering them down also with matte medium. The little stamps that I have there on the side are from a company that's new to me and it is called Crafting with Kimmy and they are super adorable. There's a little boy and a girl and the girl's holding a pencil and the boy's holding a, a stack of books. So I thought it went very good with this tag. I'm super excited to use it. I had it in my stash and this is the perfect project for it. Just taking off my tape there of placement and just putting a nice thick swoosh of chalkboard paint. And this is where the staff at the bookstore can put down their prices with a piece of chalk. I thought that would be kind of neat for them. Back to the one from Smith's Bike Shop. I needed to put a price down and they sell their cards at $3.50 here. And that's not um, un un normal for town. Um, they will get that price. These are handmade cards and I have each area kind of designed for that special um, genre if you would so all of the cards for smith's bike shop are card card bike card cards excuse me with bikes on them i don't know why that was so difficult to say putting down my price down there and a little dollar sign giving the base some brown distress crayon from Tim Holtz and spreading that around with my brush and a little bit of water. I am so happy that this video is working out right now. I'm hoping that it will export and upload and download and all work in the end so that my music is correct, my timing is correct, my intros are correct. I just hope that I have worked out all the bugs of this program. Adding some blue marabou crayon to the background and I am darkening up a little bit of my sentiment with a black micron pen. I wanted it to pop out real nice so people would see and um, I felt that some of the areas were a little light. I have lots of fun things coming up for the videos in the future. I have a list on my desk. I'm super excited for the holiday season and I have some real fun projects. So stay with me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I so appreciate that and share with a friend. You never know who's going to like my channel too. Here I'm using a ink tense watercolor pencil in the color Bark. I use this one all the time and a paintbrush with a little bit of water on it. Just going around that image to create a shadow and I wasn't using my charcoal pencil here because that image was cardboard, so it was a little bit thicker. It was too hard to get that charcoal pencil around that image nicely. So using that watercolor pencil, it kind of just melts into the areas there, giving it some more shadow underneath the bicycle Looking good. Using that black marabou crayon to go around the edges. 
one of my favorite parts. Had a little piece of paper there hanging off, so I cut it off. And then I like this when I drag the black in a little bit. It just pulls it all together. I like that technique. I've been using it a lot lately. I felt like the bicycles needed a little bit more um, black color there, the tires. So I'm darkening those in and really liked how this turned out. This was a fun project. I wasn't going to video it and I thought, well, I have all my stuff out. Maybe you would enjoy to see how you can make little signs like this. If you had a craft booth or you were going to a craft show, these would be really great signs to display some of your prices. Here's the big one, the final one. I'm going to stamp those images with my black archival ink right on the boards and I colored them in with my big brush pit markers. They are absolutely adorable, I think. And I did go around the images with the brown pit marker and smudged it with my finger. Here I am adding some white highlights to the little boy and girl with my white chalk pastel pencil. I so loved how this one turned out and I really was looking forward to taking it down to the campus shop and seeing what the manager thought about it. I discovered that I had a lot of uh, white markers that were dried up in my stash, so that was something I was going to look for on my little trip to the big stamp convention this weekend. I like to have a list of things to purchase when I go there so I can support the booths. Finishing up with my black marabou crayon, and I have to say thank you for hanging in there with me. I appreciate all the comments, like I said, good or bad, and we will see you again next Tuesday. Um, I'm just doing one video a week, and I will throw one in here and there when I find the time. I'm just kind of working um, lots and lots lately, and I really want them to be good quality videos for you. So thank you so very much and have a great, great week.